Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I'm back with a new palette. And the new palette actually prompted me to get all my flower products out. And so we're doing a whole bunch of flower beauty today. And so I guess we should just go ahead and get into it, right? Um, I did go ahead and use Super Goop Glow Oil SPF 50. And uh, that's what I did go ahead and use as my base today. As far as uh, the actual foundation, uh, the flower, this is the Light Illusion. This one is in Ivory L2. And this feels so good going on the face. It feels like silk when you put it on. I've forgotten how much I like it. It does have an SPF of 18 in it. So, um, yeah, this is what I have on there. Um, I did use Colourpop concealer to go along with it today, but this has been one of my favorite foundations and I hadn't picked it up for a while, but I think I'll be using that a lot more now. Really like that one. And then as far as I, what I did with the bronzer, Again, this has the package all busted because it's one of my favorite products and I use it all the time. It's a Heat Wave Sunrise uh, bronzer and um, it's really, it gives you a mauve sort of rosy kind of look and you, you don't necessarily need a blush if you're using this, but I did go ahead and add a blush on because I had one of my favorites available and this is the pinched blush um, again by flower uh, beauty and these are their blush bombs and really really popular a couple of years ago another product that isn't one of their newer products but is one of my favorite all-time products from flower beauty are the pyramids and this is the pyramid in uh, rose glow and it's actually a powder product. What you do is you go ahead and get your brush and you swirl it into all the different colors to go ahead and get the, well, in my case, I used it as a blush topper. So the pinched is the actual blush and then this is what I used as the blush topper today. As far as um, some highlighter, I did go ahead and use the Wet n Wild. This is from their um, Alice in Wonderland collab, and it's called Curiouser and Curiouser. And so I just took a brush and swirled it and did a little bit of a highlight. But I have to tell you, most of the glow is coming from the Rose Glow, and it's just such a pretty one. Just really love that one. As far as the usual suspects, I did go ahead and use the Essence, and this is the Thick and Wow in the Caramel Blonde, and then the Sky High, uh, both the primer and the mascara. So again, you can get these in a pack over at Walmart. It saves you a little bit of money on them. I think they're like $17, and the mascara runs about $10. So instead of paying $20, you're paying $17, which is nice. And it's a primer and um, the mascara to go along with it. And I have both of these on today. And then the palette that I actually just got in is called Garden Lights. And it is just about the same colors as what I have up here. And um, I think it's a really fun palette, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. And if you are looking, and I know for some reason I'm all about Valentine's this year. I'm usually not all about Valentine's, but if you want to find... A palette that you can definitely use for Valentine's and you could go ahead and use for this time of year as well. Uh, this palette really works. It has a really pretty cranberry in it and a pink and a purple. And um, pink, purple, cranberry, and red all go together for Valentine's Day. As you can see, once again, they're all what I have up there. And as far as what I did today, I put the cranberry um, right on the brow bone. Uh, I went ahead and put this, the champagne color, from here to here. Uh, this pretty, and I'm not sure what, I'd always, 
almost call it a nude except for it has so much glimmer to it and I use that as brow bone highlight I actually took both of these shades and have them on the lid and um, this is going to be on the middle of the lid and this is on the inner corner of the lid I also used this one to go ahead and uh, do the eyeliner underneath. In fact, I used both of these shades to go ahead and do the eyeliner underneath. And this is how the look turned out. So I did go ahead and use every color in the palette. Figured we'd go ahead and swatch it because it's so pretty here. And so these are really, really shiny colors. And really, really pretty colors. So let's go ahead and get all six of them here. This is also a really good companion palette. Um, I have the desert lights that I use, uh, you know, if I have a, if I really want a particularly shimmery lid, I'll go ahead and use these ones and um, pull them into other looks. So definitely a palette that. And you can do them as one and done. I've done that too. Um, where you just, you know, go ahead and do the one shadow all over the lid. They work to do that as well. And um, I just thought that this was a really pretty palette. It was a little bit different than what I expected it to be. Um, but I'm really glad that I got it. And I am actually really happy with the way that this look turned out and I got to use some products that I really haven't had out and I haven't been using consistently for a while and so yeah I think that the look turned out really pretty and I'm really glad that um that I got to play today so uh, again this is Garden Lights I would highly recommend it uh, this formula is a lot like a Super Shock by Colourpop and they have those intense glitters that are just so really pretty and the colors in this one just go together really really well I really like the way that this turned out so uh, that's my video oh I forgot the lips. Of course I forgot the lips. Colourpop, uh, Good and Plenty. And then I went ahead and used Relove Revolution. This is their Baby Gloss and Glam. So that's what I went ahead and used over the top. And now we're done with the video. So I hope that you have a great day. Bye.